Hi, I'm Victor Robledo with Nomads with a Purpose, and I've been a strength and conditioning coach for 30 years, and we traveled full-time in our RV for five years with our kids, and it was a real tough transition for me to start off with always being in the weight room, but then being on the road, I always was like, Robin, I gotta get in the weight room. This is my thing, I gotta get in the weight room. Um, little by little, I started to adjust my programming to get amazing results and so i'm going to share some of my favorite things to do actually before i go into that i'll let you know that at one point i asked robin hey can i travel with my straight bar and 300 pounds worth of weight and we did that for for one summer it probably did horrendous things to our gas by uh, our gas the gas expenditure but um it's part of the journey and so today i'm going to share a couple things first and foremost um, you probably want to get a nice suspension trainer like the one i have hanging on here that gives you the ability to do lots of different exercises. I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite combinations that can get your done workout done if you're traveling um, very efficiently and get you playing with your family. Uh, the other thing that we travel with a lot is a classic ab wheel for core stabilization, some tricep and lat work. Um, we travel with some push-up bars here. These are a pair of push-up bars that we travel with. Um, some adjustable tubing. This gives you the ability to do some isolated movements like overhead presses, curls, laterals, and you can bundle up multiple tubing to create some resistance. And one thing that I actually would recommend highly is some additional webbing. Now you can buy any of this webbing at a hardware store, cut it to cut it to however you want. I just put a little water knot here so it comes on so it can come undone. And this allows you to adjust your suspension trainer. I have a nice um, awning that we have in our campsite. And so I can adjust the height very easily and cheaply. And this stuff holds very, very powerful. So I'm gonna start off with the TRX combination. It's an inverted row, a bicep curl, and uh, a hugging variation. So this is all for the uh, for the lats and for the biceps. Um, you can adjust resistance on a suspension trainer very, very easy by your position. So you'll see me adjust position a little bit so you can see it. You can try it. You can do two or three sets of this between 10 and 15. I'm gonna just show a few repetitions of each. All right, so that's one of my favorite combinations on suspension trainer. I like to do that without resting. Boom, boom, boom. Take a rest after the third set. Shake out the arms a little bit. Get a great pump in the lats, mid, upper, back. Again, the more strength you have in the posterior part of the body, the better the posture. One of my favorite combinations to do with the push-up bars and the ab wheel, push-up bars and the ab wheel, is to elevate the push-up. So resistance and intensity are sometimes hard to come by. If you're a relatively fit person, Sometimes you're like, oh, I don't want to do hundreds of push-ups. Well, if you use the push-up bars, it gives you greater range of motion and you can elevate your feet. So we're going to go over the push-up bar and a little ab wheel. The trick with the ab wheel, it takes a little time to develop that strength, keep the abs pulled in, hips tucked under. So I'm going to show that one. So that's a great combination. Again, you can add a lot of intensity by the pace that you go, the speed at which you do movements, you're feeling strong. The gold standard on that ab wheel is to be able to do a couple of repetitions standing. So you can really extend out, hold. It adds a lot of, it adds a tremendous amount of additional tricep work, lat work, as well as core work. So efficiency is critical when you're, when you're traveling. For me, I'd like to get my workouts done in 20, 30 minutes at the most. That includes warm up. And then the other thing that we like to, like to work with is a kettlebell so we usually travel with one light kettlebell um, again remember you're affecting the weight that you travel but a 20 or 30 pounder can give you lots of variation i like to do single arm dumbbell snatches when we're doing when we're traveling with the light kettlebell get the heart rate elevated this allows us to be again this is an olympic lift type movement this means that you're getting a lot of bang for your buck you're getting a lot of a, a lot of muscles working at once and then i'll do an isolate a couple isolated movements with the band just for demonstration purposes a curl and a lateral raise. That's another one of my favorite variations because you're recovering from the windedness of the uh, explosive movement and then you're getting a little isolation. So check it out. simple way to work out in your campground if you're traveling no excuses or if you're tired of going to the gym you can work out efficiently get results build muscle in an efficient amount of time if you need help this is what I do right now I currently help clients in two different ways if my clients have their gym at home or have a gym that they have accessible and they 
have some know-how, I just send them their workouts. Their workouts can be everything from rehabilitative and prehabilitative exercise, a mobility work and myofascial release, and their strength and conditioning. And I also involve um, nutrition uh, evaluation. I give them nutrition courses as well as uh, cardiorespiratory or um, give them cardiorespiratory exercise recommendations. And then I'm checking in with them throughout the week so that I hold them a little bit accountable of what they're doing. Then I have a whole different set of clients who feel that they need my accountability. They don't, they're not confident potentially with their technique, or frankly, they just know that if I'm not there showing up, even in a digital sense via Zoom and FaceTime, they're not going to do it. With those clients who show up, I'm usually doing an evaluation, much like I do uh, in real life with a client. Like, hey, how's your week going? Where's your stress? What things are bothering you? And I go into designing a perfect workout when they come in, when they come and see me. So if, if you need any help, let me know.